Treason. It is a word that has created much necessary discussion and a good deal of literature, but not too many actual occurrences in America's history. Individuals like Benedict Arnold and the Rosenbergs are well known for selling out their country and will forever be known as traitors. While Arnold was able to defect to Britain to live out his life, the Rosenbergs were ultimately given the death penalty for their crimes. Dot discussions on the subject have gained steam due to actions by Donald Trump and subsequent articles pointing out his behavior over the past two years. By constantly attacking the rule of law and those actively investigating him, Trump has only exacerbated the call to increase the investigations into his malfeasance. After Trump publicly stated that investigating his personal finances would be a red line, it was only proper and necessary for special counsel Robert Mueller to look into any crimes that Trump or his family committed on a personal level. While it is well known that the Trump organization has been involved in laundering Russian money for decades, not pursuing such leads would be a dereliction of duty. That said, House Republicans spent the past two years going out of their way to ignore the facts in an effort to protect Trump. It can be demonstrably proven that Republicans in Congress have been going out of their way to insulate Trump from any political or criminal prosecutions. The main question is, why? Why would people who have sworn an oath to protect America and our Constitution put themselves in a position where they have so clearly sold out their nation to protect a traitor? For one to commit such an extreme crime against their country, there must be an extreme reason. At this point in time, there are few answers to that question. Perhaps some believe that their re-election requires such actions, if only to appease to Trump's base. The more likely answer is that they are also guilty of treason and they are doing everything in their power to protect Trump and themselves.